What's going on y'all, Timson 918 here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be doing an Escape from Tarkov 1.0 optimization guide for lower end PCs. Maybe you have an older PC like me and you're trying to get as many frames as you can. This guide is going to help you with that without wasting time. Let's get right into it. All I ask is to make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you like this content. So first things first, we're going to start off on the desktop. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click. And if you have an NVIDIA monitor, you're just going to go to show more options and you're going to go to your NVIDIA control panel settings. I'm just going to show you guys real quick which settings that's worked best for me and like i said this might be tweaked due to your individual monitor settings but over here at adjust desktop color settings i've got my brightness around 55 percent i've got my contrast at 75 and i've got my gamma at 2.8 and i've got my digital vibrance turned all the way up and trust me we'll get into in-game settings and stuff like that later on but like i said this is really dependent on your monitor and how it looks when you go in game you can definitely tweak this while you're in game as well well so make sure to do that and make sure it looks good for you the next thing we're going to do is we're going to head on over here to manage 3d settings and once we get on over to manage 3d settings you can just copy exactly what i have i'll scroll real slow but one of the most important things you're going to want to make sure to have is uh, dsr and things like that turned off low latency mode is a big one always have this on ultra the highest setting that your monitor allows whatever the max frame rate is i would recommend either having this to your monitor's default settings or turn it off since you'll be able to change this inside of the game uh, monitor technology whatever your monitor uses g-sync v-sync free sync or whatever i make sure to have that there and then we're just going to scroll down and like i said i'll let y'all see this prefer maximum performance is a huge one for power management mode make sure of course the OpenGL rendering GPU is your set GPU for the game that you're playing. Uh, shader cache size, make sure to leave it on default. I've seen some people change that. I would not change that. And all of these, most of these are going to be off. The texture is going to be off. The anastropic, I probably butchered that. Filtering negative LOD bias allow. Filtering quality, trilinear optimization on. Threaded optimization auto, triple buffering off. Vertical sync, I just leave it for the end game, which means use three application setting, leave that on for uh, end game settings. Virtual reality one and OpenGL auto. And one more thing before we get into the main game, we're gonna go ahead and close out of this and we're gonna go down to the bottom. We're gonna head on over to the launcher real quick and we're just gonna do two things at the launcher. So we're gonna open up this bad boy. It's in the game settings at the very bottom. It's logs, so we're gonna click on logs right here. A huge folder that has a whole bunch of your logs in it from when you've been playing Tarkov. And this just takes up extra space that you don't need. So every once in a while, just make sure to go in here, select all of them and delete them. Trust me, you're not deleting any un like important files, nothing like that. And the last thing we'll do is go back to game settings and we're just going to do clear cache. And this is pretty much like refreshing the memory, refreshing the game. And we'll just hit clear cache and give it a couple seconds. I hit it twice because I'm paranoid just to make sure that it's good. And with that being said, now let's head straight into the game and take a look at the in-game settings all right now that we're in game we're going to make sure to hit that follow button turn on post notification. No, i'm just walking with you so we're going to head on over to settings and very first thing we're going to do is we're going to head all the way down to the very bottom i recommend keeping everything on polychrome this is the default settings i see everybody else use like when you get in game you'll see the indicator in the upper left hand corner and it'll go red or yellow depending on how damaged your pmc is so i would just say leave this at polychrome everything else can be left alone pretty much not that important and when we scroll down to the bottom make sure head bobbing is set to 0.2 because you don't just want your head bobbing that's not cool and it makes you dizzy and no one likes it so keep that down fov is a unique one i would definitely say play to your preference and you can always mess around with this but what i've noticed especially in this wipe is it's weird but the higher fov you go the more fps you end up getting so i would say crank this all the way up as high as you can i keep mine on 75 and here are two unique ones the automatic ram cleaner and the only use physical cores so with automatic ram cleaner what's going to end up happening is every time you hit the escape button when you're in game it's going to essentially dump all of the memory that it's no longer using it's trying to just get rid of any excess memory and it's going to stutter like every time you press escape when you're in game it's going to stutter and the game might even stutter quite a little bit you know when you activate ram cleaner for a while but that's okay uh, and it's worth it based on my opinion i've seen you know maybe a five or six fps gain from it uh, on every single map consistently so i would say use this if you would like and once again only use physical cores hyper threading so 
obviously we know with CPUs, especially in today's day and age, eight cores really mean 16, right? 16 cores really mean 32 because they're pretty much doubled because they've got two little mini cores that work under the main core. This essentially disables that, which is forcing the game to only use your physical cores instead of using all the other mini cores that you have under it. But once again, I've seen a performance boost with this with my PC. You can definitely test this by going in game, but I would recommend trying this and seeing if you gain some FPS. If not, you can just leave it off. But for these, I would say keep automatic RAM cleaner on, keep only physical cores on, the malfunction notifications. I just leave that on because it'll let you know that your gun jammed at the bottom with a little message on top of the red, you know, gun jamming thing, uh, animation. So now we're gonna go on over to graphics and add graphics, screen resolution. You always wanna leave this at whatever your main monitor resolution is. Mine is at 1440p. So I just leave it here, aspect ratio. This is exactly how the game is, I guess, sized or ratioed you could say and the the way that the game looks when you're in i always use my native that comes with the monitor which is 16 by 9 but you do see some people using other ratios and you can definitely test them out and see if certain ones look better for you uh, i would say screen mode another big one for the longest time i played on full screen but i recently found out that borderless is actually the best because for some reason in full screen, you'll get over a 30% FPS drop. I have no idea why it shouldn't be like that, but borderless is definitely the way to go. You'll get way more FPS. And on top of that, if you're someone like me who alt tabs a lot, especially when you're loading into raid, it's just way easier to alt tab instead of the game trying to force you to stay in. So borderless is the way to go for FPS, no doubt. V-Sync, once again, this is monitor dependent, but since I've got Nvidia Reflex on, which we'll get to a couple of seconds, it automatically turns V-Sync off for me. And if you want to use reflex i would recommend just ignoring v-sync altogether it can actually cause more problems than good uh but yeah v-sync is independent to your monitor now this right here is pretty self-explanatory right fellas uh everything is going to be either on low or off uh, for texture quality, shout out to the boy Clementine, I believe I said his name right. He showed a comparison, essentially what Tarkov did with the 1.0 update. Ultra is now what high used to be, high is now what medium used to be, medium is now what low used to be, and now our low is like a lower low, or like an ultra low, I guess you could say. When you take a look at the graphics that I have up on screen right now, uh, in all honesty, to me, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. If you think that it does on your monitor, or you start thinking that you have an inconsistent when it comes to finding people or seeing people in raid then you can definitely go to medium if you like but for the most fps possible i just stay on low shadow quality same thing low lod quality i keep this at 2.5 uh, overall visibility 1500 i wouldn't go any lower than this and the main reason is because tarkov's visibility can be janky sometimes and if you have it too low at distances where you should see people they'll just disappear from your point of view they'll just disappear sometimes you have to aim in just to see them render in so 1500 it's like the perfect middle ground to where on most short to medium range maps you'll be able to see people no problem and even on long range maps it won't be that big of a deal unless you're like super far away so 1500 is what i stay on on cloud quality low anti-aliasing off so all this off and on default resampling 1x off off ssr low any any isotropic i butchered that off nvidia reflex low latency this is another one some people like to do on plus boost but i've noticed with the on plus boost actually makes me lose fps for some reason i don't know what the plus boost is doing but it's not plus boosting for me so i just keep this on on and like i said when if you turn this on it's going to turn a v-sync off so just keep that in mind if you want to use v-sync instead of um reflex low latency sharpness i keep this at 0.5 it just makes things pop out a little bit more you can crank this up depending on once again like i said your monitor this kind of makes up for that loss in texture quality since playing on the lowest setting lobby fps limit don't got to worry about that disable game fps don't got to worry about any of this most of this is taken care of all of this at the bottom does nothing but just add extra taxing on your pc so just turn all of this off except for streets of tarkov lower texture resolution mode when you go to streets of tarkov it eats way too many resources like it is absolutely insane so that's the only thing i have on here and then we're going to go over to post effects surprisingly i do not use any post effects like i said at the very beginning i showed you the nvidia control panel settings and that's all i use now the game might look a little bit different to you guys because i do run it through an obs filter to make it look better but that nvidia control panel settings is all i use no post effects i've been all 
also notice the post effects can definitely affect your FPS and especially some settings like clarity and colorfulness will tank your FPS. So I recommend turning that all, tweaking your NVIDIA or your AMD monitor to your liking and then going into game and testing the darkest areas of the maps and lightest areas of the maps to make sure that everything looks good on your end. Now, one thing you have to do for sure is download and start using something called auto hotkey and you can add a filter to your monitor that will be able to adjust your brightness and contrast when you go to certain areas by just pressing a hot key on your keyboard. This is 100% recommended. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't even play this damn game without it. That's how big of a deal it is. If y'all want a full video on that by me, let me know in the comment sections below and I'll happily make it. But I will have the instructions on step-by-step -step how to do it in the description below. And I try to take a video, try to record it on my phone, and it's just not gonna do it justice, but you need this. Don't even play Tarkov if you don't have this installed. It really is the difference between going into dorms or going into a darker map and then just hoping that you spot someone versus, oh, now I know why people can see me whenever they're playing these maps that don't have any brightness at all to them. But that is it for this video, guys. Let me know if it helped you down in the comment sections below. Let me know what other guides you wanna see on this channel as well. I'll be happy to make it for you. I love reading y'all's comments. It jangles my joels. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Timson918, out of here.